What I said about creativity also applies to courage. When you're a young baby and you're 10 months and you're moving around on that floor and you show creativity uh, in all its dimensions, you're also demonstrating courage. You move under the dark chair, you climb over the chair, under the dark table, you've got inborn courage that needs to be nurtured. So yes, courage is something that we need to get back because courage and creativity are so closely linked. You've got a new idea, you want to move with it, but then you, then you hold back. Why, why, why do you hold back? Not because of your creativity, it's because of the lack of courage. And you can get your courage back, there's no doubt about it. But different kinds of courage. We must understand that, that there's a courage that you get up, you say what you say, even if you're a minority or one, you need to say that, that's courage. But there, there's another kind of courage, for instance, where you go up to someone and you say, mm, you know, please forgive me, I made, a, I made a big, big mistake here. Will you forgive me? Please, please. That also requires courage, different kind of courage, but it's an important courage because in that kind of way, it's courage that heals relationships. The bottom line here is that a beyonder is a courageous human being. And without courage, your creativity can't live.